processing project in a Google Cloud platform and to download the, cred the credentials that is where to call a, an API request so in this video I'll show you how to implement the algorithm for sending an email from your web server as you can see here there is a lot of libraries that have been downloaded but we are going to use only gmail as a, an api there is a file called outload this, this file is required to load the classes from directly where they are stored make sure you specify this line at the top in order to include the classes that we are going to use to call our API request for instance this client this client class is inside a vendor and is outloaded and this one gmail class is inside a vendor is out is outloaded automatically in our project we have to create a current here a current instance the current instance is required to call an API request this current instance we have we are provided with methods like set application name here we can specify the application name we have to set scopes that is if you are going to send email to read to read stories to read labels it's you have to set the credentials in the current rack like in this line this credential is required because it contains some information which is posted as a post request to an API request this is just like a request body as it contains that in JSON format as we have downloaded in the previous video I'll put here the name of the correct path to the file as it is outside our directory so this if function is as you can see the description here it loads the previous authorized, authorized token if there is a file called token.json in your server then the token will be used to call an API request without a login but if the token is not present then the file is going to be created to our server at the first time and at the first time you will be asked to log in once you log in you will be provided with codes and this code is required to get access token and the access token now we will store in our server these credentials will be required when we request an access token that is we must specify in our current object As you can see, if the token is in the is in the client and is set, that is is in our project storage, then we will check if it is expired. If true, then the refresh token this method get refresh token will be called to get 
an access token from refresh token and the refresh token is called from the current instance but if there is no file called token.json then we need to redirect the user to the login that is to authenticate for the first time or the file you have been deleted so if a user login it there is a response you are that will contain query parameter called code this code will be used to access the access token and the essay here is to redirect a user to the login that is a url for login is created from the client and this is created from the combination of credentials you can see now if a user logged in then an access token is fetched from codes and we set the client with access token now inside the if function where there is no file called token.json then we are going to create a file called token.json that is this line file if file exists this one then if the file not exist make this file and we put content the content we put content of the access token and this asset token is encoded in JSON format Now we use the client to call a request, an API request. The steps you in the steps you must put a client as a parameter. For instance, apart from Gmail service, you may require to use YouTube. You will call YouTube service as in this way. This will require a client as a parameter. So you will specify a current. Also, you can, you can, for instance, you can wish to use a drive service, and this you call the same way as this, like this way. You need to specify the current, and this drive is provided with methods like this one so for now we don't need this one we need this service Gmail service so an object of a Gmail service is required to assess the Gmail Gmail account of a user. Also, the Gmail provides us with a message class that is a class which is required to space to define the message that is going to send from your web server. So, define the message as in this way, but in this, you have to create a new message. And a meme message can be created in whatever way that is simple for you. But I have shown you in this way. You have to specify the meme version. You have to specify the from here. You will put the name of the from address, and here you will put the email address. this email is going to send the email
and this the the receive of the email you must specify and this is compulsory you must specify this one otherwise you will get errors and an email will not send okay you have to put the subject and this or this one uh, content type now the board is encoded in base 64 format and finally we encode the whole meme message because it is in a string format so we are going to send it in a url and this encoding is safe for url transmission because you are going to send it as a url parameter in a url request now the message provided with a method central to put the encoded email message now we use the steps to send the message as we have provided with this method send and this method return the message we can try to refresh our web page for the first time because the token.json file is not present in our server that is why we are directed to the login by default but after the first time you will not be directed to the login until you revoke the token or you delete the token from your server or the token expires so you will try to login for the first time on If you meet the verification problem, you can see my videos, but I have solved the problem for seven times, so let's continue. Click allow. You can see I said here. In my Android emulator, I can open my Gmail account in order to see if an email is received in my Android. If I try to refresh, you can see this message with this body hello it for example from PHP mail as we have specified in our code so everything has worked and you can see here uh, we specified the from address that is this one also the two the subject this one and the message is this one you can view the details for the message that is the 32 from If you are unsure, I'm going to delete the message and try to send another message by refreshing our web page. You can click, you can create a send button to send email, but or simply I click to refresh and send. I refresh my Android emulator here, and you can see a new incoming message. So thanks for watching my friends, you can help me by subscribing my youtube channel, for any additional support you can comment in the comment box for this video, thanks for watching.